Hello, in this 6 minute video, we will look on how to program DS3231 real time clock module with Arduino Nano or Uno to trigger multiple switch relays by referring to the RTC library example DS3231 manual by Manjanath C. V. et al. For this video, you will need an Arduino Uno or Nano microcontroller unit. Real Time Clock RTC DS3231 Module, 4 Channels Relays Switch Module, and several male female jumper wires. Let's get started by connecting the hardware as shown in the diagram. Next, connect the Arduino Nano to your USB PC and load up Arduino software IDE which you can download and install them for free from the internet. Now, we can start to program the hardware with codes. To program it, you will need to download the latest wire and RTC library via Arduino IDE or GitHub. Make sure the downloaded libraries are in the Arduino library folder directory on your PC, and use this RTC library only for the DS3231. If you have other RTC and DS3231 libraries, please temporarily move them out from your Arduino library folder to avoid conflict with multiple DS3231 library. Now, let's move on with the codes. In code line 6 and 7, we include the downloaded library. In code line 9, we activate the DS3231 RTC variables. Then, we initialize switch relay S1, S2 and S3, and assign them to Arduino Nano Digital Output 3, 4 and 5. Next, we will have four types of function, which are void setup, void loops, void time calendar, void time group A, void switch pattern 1, and void switch pattern 2. Let's look at the void setup. We will have our standard serial begin and followed with RTC begin. At code line 23, we will set the RTC module in 24 hours mode, which will be using 0 to 23 to represent the clock hours. In code line 30, we will synchronize the RTC module time calendar with our PC time clock during the sketch upload. However, you can manually adjust the RTC module time calendar for a different time zone by uncommenting the following codes, such as RTC set day, RTC set month and so on. Next, we set up the initial state of S1, S2, S3 Arduino output pin mode. And we are done with the void setup function. Moving on. Within code line 56 until 60 of the void loop. We will loop the time calendar function and time group A function. Then, we will further program these functions for certain task commands including conditions. By referring to the RTC library example, DS3231 manual by Manjanath C. V. et al. We will continue with the void time calendar function. Here in code line 69. I've set Saturday day in case 1 as the day of me uploading the sketch into Arduino and replace other cases day with Sunday, Monday etc. This will be the starting day clock counting of the RTC time calendar week from the day you've uploaded this sketch. If you plan to upload this sketch tomorrow, make sure you replace this with tomorrow's day and the following. Pay attention more on the code line 98, 100 and 102. We will use these data variables for conditions in time calendar function to trigger the switch pattern function. Following this, in code line 117 void time group A function, we will set conditions if and else if to trigger any assigned switch pattern. From these conditions, we use RTC get hours, RTC get minutes, and RTC get seconds to compare with hours, minutes, and seconds that we've set. By observing the time calendar serial print monitor, if the RTC printed the time values equal to the one we've set in the condition, then the condition is true and trigger the switch pattern 1 task, and so on. From here, you can experiment with the RTC time parameters and conditions for desired task triggering outcomes. 
Lastly, in code line 134 until 162, we program multiple set of pin mode switch behavior patterns. Before uploading the final sketch, make sure you have chosen the right Arduino tools of board, processor and port. Let's see the switch relay in action and crack a bottle. Thank you.